So are masks even effective in the first place? Some argue the microscopic coronavirus is just too tiny for homemade masks to make any kind of a difference. But tonight, new video from an engineer who specializes in fluid dynamics shows just how effective even the most simple face coverings can be. There's no perfect mask and there's no question homemade face coverings and bandanas are not nearly as effective as the tight fitting medical kind that should be reserved for frontline workers. But most medical experts agree face coverings might still be enough to help slow the spread of COVID-19. If one person has COVID, the lowest rate of transmission is with both people are wearing masks. Check this out. A mechanical engineer and fluid dynamicist with the National Institute of Standards and Technology built this stay-at-home lab in his garage and using a high-speed camera attempted to help show just how effective face coverings can be in keeping the air you exhale from shooting out towards other people. He tested out coughing and talking with no mask at all and then tried on 26 different face coverings. And after shooting about 50 gigs worth of video, he came up with a few takeaways. First, even the simplest of face coverings stopped much of a person's cough from reaching someone else nearby. But it's only effective when the mouth and nose are both covered. Check out how much leaks out otherwise. And perhaps most importantly, for anyone asymptomatic who might not even realize they're infected, the mask is especially helpful in reducing airflow while talking. As we said, no mask is perfect, but experts back here in Tampa believe they can provide some protection from those larger respiratory droplets that might shoot out of someone else's face while at the same time protecting others from your germs as well. It's not a sign of weakness. It's not a political sign of defeat that you're wearing a mask. It's just something that, uh, that makes a lot of sense for preventing spread of the infection. And that was Bo Zimmer who broke all that down for us. Thank you, Bo. So it's important to point out that video that you just saw is showing the airflow, but it still can't see the movement of tiny virus particles in the air, which is why experts say masks aren't perfect and social distancing is still really important here. So as part of our sharper insight today, many of you are asking why the entire state of Florida isn't requiring people to wear masks. Earlier today, Governor Ron DeSantis said people should already be wearing masks on their own, but he supported cities and counties issuing their own mandates. As you have some of these other municipalities, um, you know, that they want to do that. Look, at the end of the day, we put out an advisory at the beginning of May recommending per CDC that you, know, you could wear a mask uh, when you can't social distance or when you're in a face to face type business. Um, when they do go that and they have every right to do that, um, you know, they're then responsible for the enforcement of that. All right, so let's take a look nationwide at states requiring people to wear a mask. The dark shaded states all require them outside of the home. There are about two dozen. That now includes California, which put that order into effect Thursday after seeing 4,000 new cases in just one day.